Henri Giffard, or to give him his full name, Baptiste Jules Henri Jacques Giffard, was born in Paris in 1825. He is credited with, on the 24th of September 1852, making the first powered, controlled flight from Paris to Ilancourt, a distance of 27 kilometres. Giffard used a cigar-shaped airship while dirigible, the bag of which was 44 metres in length and was filled with hydrogen gas. Beneath it was suspended a basket containing a three-horsepower steam engine which powered the two-bladed propeller. Steering was achieved with a vertical rudder. Giffard needed to keep things as light as possible, and the steam engine alone weighed 180 kilograms. Steam engines need a constant supply of water for their boilers, and hitherto, the only way of putting water back into a steam boiler was using a cumbersome pump, but Giffard couldn't countenance the weight of such a device. So, he turned to his physics textbooks, and to two 18th century physicists, Giovanni Venturi and Daniel Bernoulli. Giffard applied the Venturi effect to put water back into his steam boiler. The Venturi effect is a case where fluid flows through a tube that is narrow. The velocity of the fluid increases as it flows through the narrower tube, while the pressure decreases due to the conservation of energy. The effect is an example of Bernoulli's principle in action. In so doing, Giffard invented the steam injector. The steam injector uses live steam to inject water into a steam boiler against the steam pressure within the boiler. It does so using three cones. High pressure steam enters the injector through the first or steam cone. The nozzle of the cone guides the jet of stream and the pressure energy of the steam is converted to velocity energy. This jet of steam then makes contact with cold water and is instantly condensed and then passes through the combining cone. This creates a vacuum which draws further water into the injector. The combining cone creates a solid jet of hot water. This jet of hot water then jumps a gap and enters the delivery cone. The delivery cone converts the velocity energy of this jet of water back to pressure energy, sufficient to overcome the pressure in the boiler holding down the non-return clack valve. Giffard took out a patent for his steam injector on the 8th of May 1858, and the idea soon caught on in France for use in stationary engines and steam locomotives, replacing the cumbersome and often temperamental water pumps. The use of the injector meant that water could be put back into the boiler even when the locomotive was stationary, rather than having to run it up and down to operate the axle-driven feed pumps. In Britain, Sharp Stewart of Manchester obtained the sole rights to manufacture the Giffard injector in the United Kingdom in 1860. The first British railway to adopt them was the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway in 1860, followed by the London and North Western Railway, who began to fit one injector and one water pump to newly built locomotives from 1864 onwards. The licence to produce the Giffard injector then passed to another Manchester firm, Gresham and Craven, which firm had incidentally begun making sewing machines. Giffard was awarded the Légion d'Honneur in 1863, but because of his failing eyesight, he tragically took his own life in April 1882, aged only 57, leaving his entire estate for the good of the French people. I hope you have enjoyed this video on Henri Giffard and his steam injector, and if you have, please leave a comment below, and whilst you're at it, please also like, share and subscribe. I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters for helping make this video possible. And see you all next time on Rail Story.